Hi, this is Peter Bree from Darren Bedeau RV in Ogden, Utah. Today I'm standing outside our coach with Catalina 243RDS. Uh, we'll take a few minutes and just walk around the outside with you and then we'll meet up at the inside. First thing I want to notice on the trailer, it comes with a power tongue jack, which is nice. Anybody who's ever camped before and had to do the manual crank the whole time, miserable. This way it's set up for you right here. It also has an on-off light switch, so as you're running your batteries, you'll be able to hook up late nights, early mornings for hookups. Really nice and convenient. The other nice thing right here behind this, you have two five-gallon propane tanks with an automatic disconnect over, so you won't have to worry about running out of propane in the middle of the night. It automatically will switch over to the next cylinder, and you can fill it from there. We also have a battery rack back here behind it which will hold two of our batteries for you that come with it for us. Uh, coming up from on the coach here, we have the diamond plate. So as you pull that, you're not gonna get the road debris, rock chips, anything like that kicking up and damaging the front of the coach for you. Uh, as you notice on the coach with Catalina, they're a smooth up front. It allows for better towing, wind resistance, and then you'll pick up a little bit better gas mileage for you as you go as well. If you come around to the side here, you'll notice on the Catalina there's different sizes of compartments up front. This is actually a full through pass through storage and it is completed all the way through. You'll notice the laminate floor, everything that way all the way through. So you can throw your lawn chairs, your fishing poles, whatever doesn't fit in the back of your truck. It'll be nice and tight right here for you. There are a sealed window, which is nice. It doesn't let the rain come in as fast. And if you notice up here on the top, the one thing Catalina does on other coaches, they add the rain gutters there for you for the anti-drip. Um, slide outs. Also, our sill, you can pull that back. Uh, if you see that right there, the water will run down versus going inside the coach. It'll run down and drop out through the bottom there. Uh, walk around here with me again. On the back side, you have your dump stations right here on the bottom. Dump stations here on the bottom. You also have your cat cable satellite. Everything that way, your water heater, which is a six gallon. Uh, DSI, so we'll run off of gas as well as electric when you're in there. It has a 16.2 recovery time, so you're always going to constantly have hot water running through there. Your 30 amp power connector right there. Down here you got your stabilizers jacks. We do not do automatic stabilizers on this, price-wise. And then the convenience of these, they'll go uh, with a three-quarter inch socket. You go ahead and put them on there and they'll lower it and higher no matter where you're at make it level all the way around. On to the back you have your city water. So if you're plugged into a KOA or anything like that, put your hose right there and you're good to go. You also have an outside shower. Nice thing about the outside shower, which not any of our other competitors offer, we do put a little clip on it, which is nice so that shower can hold. So as that shower comes out, it's nice and easy. You can set that right in here and take care of it so you have both hands free to help out whenever you want. And again, it does run off of hot and cold water, just like on the inside for us. Put that away so it rolls up nice and tight. The other nice thing this does have that all of our coachmen's come with is a black tank flush. Probably one of the, for new buyers, probably one of the most important things you want to have on your, your trailer is a black tank flush. Uh, and just like it says, that's what it does. Uh, years ago, you'd go camping, you'd clean up for the winter, you'd have to run a hose or a wand down in the toilet, trying to get every, all the debris, toilet paper, anything like that off of it. And nine times out of ten, your sensor was still covered by toilet paper. Now it's easy, you just pull your drain plug over here on the side, hook up your hose, it flushes itself out automatically for you now. Very easy to do. Spare tire with spare tire cover. Uh, and come around to this side, you'll notice that we have a awning. The awning covers about 85 90% of that trailer. It comes all the way out. It is a power awning. Blue LED strips above it. The two outside Furion marine grade speakers will also have blue neon in it when it's lit up at night. Uh, and then the one thing that's really nice is our fender flares. You'll notice a lot of the trailers out there will have plastic, which are good, but over the course of time, plastic will have a tendency to rip away a little bit, tear, and you'll get that flapping going down. These are aluminum built right in there nice, and it also makes it kind of nice for that one too. 
one thing we have here is a solid stem surface. Uh, some of the traders you'll notice will come up with the old two-step. If you come up, this is actually a solid step, full dried up, all the way into the door, and then the feet are retractable, so you can make that to the right, right size. It comes with a nice size, easy grab handle. The nice thing about that, this is mounted to the frame. It's mounted right to the stud, so it's going to last a long time for you. Hi, thank you. And now we're inside the 243 RBS. Uh, 243 stands for it is a 24 foot livable space inside with a slide on the side. First thing I want to talk to you about is the floor. Very solid. One thing different from this floor versus some of our competitors, we use a plywood. Uh, a lot of the other competitors are using a chipboard, OSB. So as you know, that gets wet, moisturized. It has the tendency to expand. This is a solid floor and flat plywood, so you'll be fine there. Uh, coming to the back, we'll go into the bathroom. And as you can tell as we walk into the bathroom, I'm a fairly bigger guy than most of us are, than most people are. Plenty of room in here. If I step inside the shower, corner mounted shower, you can see I still have plenty of room in here uh, to do what I need to do, shower and stuff. There's also a pedestal down here on the bottom, which makes it nice if you need to shave your legs or whatever you need to do in there. Uh, the other nice thing, because this is a plywood floor, same thing in the shower. This is built on a plywood form. So it's a very solid form for you. Let me shut this up for you. Um, bathroom, foot pedestal. And again, as you can see, I'm a fairly bigger guy. Plenty of room in here uh, when you're in the bathroom. There, you've got a sink over here. Plenty of cabinetry space there as well as down there for towels or, or your toiletries, whatever you need down there. As we come out of the bathroom, again, for a 24 foot trailer, plenty, plenty of storage space in there. Uh, as you can see, that's a deep pocket. That's a very deep pocket counter. Uh, over here on the slide, this is a nice, again, a 24 foot trailer that has a super slide, which means it will have both your dinette and a sofa. Most of the trailers this size is gonna have just your one or the other for you in the slide. Dinette will fold into a bed, so you can have sleeping room there. Same thing here with the, the couch. You're gonna have plenty of storage underneath, your towels, your blankets, whatever you need there. And then also as you fold that out, that folds into a nice easy bed for you. Go with that, like all, Coachman products, plenty of overhead storage, what you need there. If we come into the kitchen, as you walk right into the door, you'll notice this has an extra piece of a little bar. Nice setup for extra counter space for you. Can never go camping with not enough counter space for you. Uh, it comes with the chairs. Chairs are kept up underneath the bed in the master bedroom. The one thing you'll notice with the countertops, it is a seamless countertop. Advantage for a seamless countertop for you is 90% of the work you do is going to be on the counter. So as you wash anything that way, water has the tendency to find the seam, which will soak in and then do the same thing as the floor will do, expand. And then it'll bubble. Seamless countertops, you won't have that problem. Deep sink, which also comes with a flush mount sink cover, which is also like when you're not using it, it is very more, much counter space for you. And then it also will allow you to use a cutting board when you need a cutting board. High-rise kitchen sink faucet for you. Very nice. I don't know if you've ever tried to boil corn when you're out camping. You cannot put a corn, a bucket of corn underneath there without spilling the water. With the high-rise kitchen sink, you're there. It has a three-burner stove with a nice glass cover on it for you. Um, fold that back and set that up for your black backsplash. Um, these will light up blue for us when they're plugged in. You've got a nice stove down here. And the other nice thing about the stove, if you're not a big stove cooker, you can throw some of your pots and pans in there for storage. Microwave right up there for you. You can, there. Nice thing about this fridge, it is a six cubic inch fridge. Seven cubic inch, six cubic inch fridge, but it's the size of a seven because it's deeper than the most six cubic fridges you will find. Also, the nice thing about this, it does offer you 
different back splash or different facial on here. You can go with the black or you can pry this off and then it'll be over and it'll be silver on the back side there. Moving forward up here to the entertainment center. Nice TV here. Nice thing about this TV, it is on a magnet base. It sounds bad when you pull it, but that's just the magnets working for us. It pulls out and it is a swivel TV for you. Plenty of room. DVD player. You, you, uh, USB so you can actually control the outside speakers at the same time that you're in here. That folds up there. You have a nice cabinet space up here as well. Put your movies, anything up there for you. Uh, and then again, we put this, we put a, a Fury on 30 inch fireplace in here. It runs gas, so if you're a KOA, you'll never have to turn your propane on other than just to cook because this is going to heat the whole coach up for you. Nice to get up early in the morning, turn that on. Everybody feels the warmth out of that. Um, and again, if you don't want this on here, this cabinet space is what you'll have underneath it. And again, as you can see, Coachman is not afraid to put cabinet space in here for everybody. As we walk into the bedroom, uh, TV mounts are over here, so if you wanted to put your own TV mount in there, you can do that. Uh, again, plenty of cabinet space. There is no break off. This is solid open all the way through. Uh, closets on both sides with the rod. Plenty of room there. The nice thing is, is each side of the bed has their own separate plugs. So if you need a sleep app machine or anything that way, very easy and accessible to get to. And then like I said, more storage underneath the master bed. And that is the 2019 Coach from Catalina. Thanks for taking a few minutes and going over it with me and hope to see you down here at Darren Bedeau RV. Thank you.